I'm gonna connect to my server here. The IP or username or whatever you do for your server may totally be, could be whatever it is. It can be a host name or IP. Right, let me pull that over. Okay, now log in. Now you're gonna have to create a new user. So to do that, you need to you need root privileges sudo. Um, and then user add and then whatever you want their name to be we'll just choose power guy all right now we got power guy power guy is in there so now we need to create his home directory so so make dir home power guy now this is also has to be sudo I forgot about that all right now he needs to own that so let's make sure power guy owns that situation there all right now you have to install when you install putty make sure that you get something called putty gen you can go to your start bar and look under putty it should be in there it's called putty gen it will look like this all right click generate and move your mouse around a little bit and you're gonna get all this information click save private key you can click yes when you get the warning and save it as whatever you want I'll name it power guy all right now select all of this stuff here that's in this key area and copy it now put that off to the side for now come back to your uh, your SSH putty login now you're gonna have to assume the power guy login so sudo su and then power guy I like working in bash so I'm gonna go to bash and now change my directory to my home directory I need to make the directory dot ssh and then pico dot ssh slash authorized underscore keys all right, and then when you get in there, you need to paste this key that we copied into there. You can do that by right clicking. And then if I scroll left, you can see that whole key went into the screen there. All right, now we are going to write out our, our key there. So that's Control O, click Enter, and then Control X. Now, I like to list what's in there just to make sure that's an ls and then space dot ssh. Make sure authorized keys really is there. Something didn't go wrong. Now that we have authorized keys there, we need to um, allow Power Guy to have access to shut down and the, the shutdown command and the reboot command. And we're going to do this to the sudoers file. So you're going to sudo, well first we're going to exit power man there. Make sure you're at your user that you, you want to log in with. Okay. Now we're going to vi, I lied. We're going to sudo vi sudo. Now you always want to use vi sudo when you edit your sudoers file okay. you need to create a command alias this thing right here you need to create that and do it like this it's a capital C M N D underscore capital A L I A S command alias you can name it whatever you want these capital letters are the name make sure you use all capitals and then equals and then for Ubuntu your reboot and shutdown commands are in your S bin 
So slash sbin slash reboot comma slash sbin slash shutdown. And now we need to scroll down. And you can see down here, I already have one in here, but I'll write a new one for the guy we just made. Power guy. That's what we named him. All equals left parentheses all right parentheses. Now this is the important part. You have to put in that no password uh, and N O P A S S W D and then colon power. This will mean you can sudo with the user power guy reboot or shut down. Alright, now to save this, it's Control O, Enter, Control X. Now we are ready to set up the Windows side of this, so you can exit out of your terminal there. Alright. We're going to open up Putty. Regular old Putty again. Now, you're going to have to do a couple things here, so make sure you follow. Put in your server, okay. and then go down to, to under co the connection tab here, go to data, put in the username you wanted to choose your get, that you chose, and then go to SSH, auth, and browse for the uh, PPK that you just made, that's the public, the public key. We did Power Guy. So I'm open that up, and then go to the SSH tab. Put in the remote command sudo reboot. That will send this command the second that you connect. Go back to the uh, session. Same this one like Power Guy reboot. Click save. Now go down to. Uh, SSH again, change that to sudo shutdown dash H now, which is the shutdown halting the system now. And then go back up to your session, change that to shutdown. Click save again. Now you have your two sessions here which should automatically connect to the server and cause it to reboot or shut down. All right, so now we're going to test this. So before we make any of our links or anything, pull my server over. All right, we're gonna try to reboot it. So let's double click that. There it goes. It is rebooting. So now we can create links like these ones right here. So, how did I create this link? This link's really easy to do. I went new shortcut. We're going to browse to the location of the Putty EXE, which should be in your computer. I'm on a 64 bit machine, so if you're on 64 bit, it's in the program files x86. If you're on 32 bit, it'll just be in program files. Um, scroll down to Putty. Click on Putty, click OK. Now, if you want to load in something automatically, you have to type dash load, and then our name was Power Guy Reboot. Click Next, name this one, whatever you want to name it really, but I just name it Reboot. We'll name it Reboot Server. And there we go. So now we got a link here. And then if we want to do that again for our shutdown command, it's the same thing. We can cheat actually. Go to properties and just copy and paste it in. Change that to shutdown. Name this one shutdown server. Let me get these ones out of the way here. So we'll go, and here's the server again. Let's reboot the server. And there it goes, restarting again.